unhealthy weight is affecting children across the U.S., but also here in Rochester. We're really looking at a generation of children that will potentially not live as long as their parents, and that's really an alarming thought. We can and we are working to make an impact that will affect children in the city. Here in Rochester, New York, the Greater Rochester Health Foundation provides funding and support to local schools and organizations working to reverse the trend in obesity. And we're doing that by changing policies and systems and the environment that impact the health of children and their families. To do this, we have to consider the factors that influence health, create healthy neighborhood environments, and certainly partner with organizations and institutions. In doing so, we're supporting the healthy development of the whole child so that they can succeed in the classroom and beyond. They spend so much time in school. How can we have health education aligned to the common core so that students are learning more about how they should be eating, how much time they should be spending exercising instead of in front of the TV. So being able to arm them with this stuff ahead of time so that we're not just educating them on ELA and on math, we're educating them about how to live a rich life. About one in three kids are overweight or obese. A lot of existing literature shows that urban populations do suffer from obesity at higher rates. Exercise is the best medicine and it's probably the most underutilized medicine that we have. When looking at kids, they really need to be active. We know that physical activity helps kids focus later. So if we can get them more engaged in unstructured play that gets them out, gets them active, we know kids are getting a lot of benefit regardless of what their weight status is. Children are spending a lot of time in school. So we kept talking about how can we get play into our school day. The children just enjoy school a lot more. Now they're starting to ask more questions and it's been a good experience. It's so tough because it takes up so much of your time and you're trying to get in just the core subjects. Finding time for quality recess or brain breaks uh, is really difficult, uh, but we found that it, the payback has been significant because it has helped cut down with your fidgety children, with your stressed children. We find that they're able to become more engaged and more successful, so the payoff is, is significant. I would encourage other principals to go after any initiative that promotes um, healthy living or fitness. Rochester is trailblazing. We're a policy that districts are looking at. So we are ahead of the curve. We still have a lot of work to do.